What's an aimbot? Yo guys, in today's video I wanted to talk about why I decided to come back and play some more Overwatch again. Uh, I briefly touched on it in uh, the returning to Overwatch video, which I'm sure you've seen, but I never went into specific detail and explained the changes that I'm happy that are coming, hopefully coming. Technically, they're in the PTR right now, so it's not a for sure thing, but chances are uh, they'll go they'll go live into the game. But again, not a for sure for sure thing, but chances are they will. But whatever. So I had a lot of comments from people who haven't seen the other couple videos. They're like, yo, you're playing again. What's happening? I had a ton of messages like, yo, you're back. Like, why? What happened? What changed? So that's what this video is. And if you are on a hiatus and you're not playing, you're taking a break, whatever it is, maybe you'll get the feels to play the game again, just like I did. So let's get right into it. The first change, damage reduction to armor. Numero uno. This is the big one. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read that annotation that I put on the screen. It's not going to stay up there for long because I want you to see the gameplay, okay? Because I kind of do good with Widowmaker and I want you to watch it. So anyways, um, damage reduction to armor is decreased or increased? How does that, how, how does that work? <laughs> um, you do more damage to armor as a DPS player, okay? Which is fucking awesome. Like, that's amazing. It's not uh, directly impact on Widowmaker. Not really. But characters like Tracer, which I really want to learn uh, and get amazing at, I want to get really good at Tracer, like I said in the other couple of videos. If you haven't seen it, yeah. Not bad. Anyways, Sombra, Soldier, characters like that. Even Bastion's kind of affected by it too. Bastion, it'll be hard to notice though because he does insane amounts of damage as it is, but technically he, uh, he does more damage to armor too. So that initial burst on tanks like D.Va that have armor, you're gonna do so much more damage to, which is amazing. I think it's 15% is what the annotation reads. So that's super good. It's also good against character, when you're playing against like a Brig, right? So when the Brig pops a rally and everybody gets armor, you do more damage. You can actually kill something that, you know, has armor. It's great. Now, that leads me into the next is the Brig nerfs. Brig nerfs, everybody's favorite character. Uh, one of the big reasons why I quit the game to begin with because I thought the character was a joke. Still do. Sorry for all you Brig mains out there. Uh, yeah, I just think the character was a joke. I'm, I'm heavy into first-person shooters. And when I came into Overwatch... I was looking for that first person shooter experience, which is my fault because Overwatch isn't a first person shooter. I should have known better, but it is what it is. Uh, I, I know that now, I guess. But it was frustrating when I'm playing these really aim reliant characters and just getting steamrolled by characters like Brig or, you know, getting dove on by tanks that whatever whatever I, I like aim reliant heroes and adding characters like Brig is just the complete opposite to what I like. So. Brig nerfs, amazing, man, amazing. And it goes hand in hand with the with the armor nerfs. And it's just a good feeling, man. I absolutely love it. One of the biggest reasons why I quit and I'm happy to see uh, see the nerf to Brig. So her ult isn't permanent anymore. That's number one. Uh, it only lasts 30 seconds. So before you would all group up, pop rally, and then you had rally for until you got your next fight. Now you can't preemptively pop it. You got to pop it during a fight, which is awesome. Uh, also, the armor nerf in general directly affects her because I mean that's that's her whole thing, right? It's armor, so fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, next, diva, diva nerf again. Not that big of a deal. Does affect you know really good players because you can really read a diva player now which is amazing. But if you're a really good D.Va player, then you're not really gonna be affected by this nerf. So what the nerf is, is there's a one second delay extra when you're cycling through your defense matrix. So you know in your defense matrix, you've got that little bar on the left-hand side. By the way, that was a sick flick on that Mercy. Dear Jesus Christ, oh my God. Anyways, you got uh, the, the bar on your left, right? Let's say you use half of it and then you let go of defense matrix. Prior to this nerf, you could wait one second and then use it again. Now you're going to have to wait two full seconds and then you can use it again. So not the biggest nerf. Really good diva players are still going to be amazing. It's not going to make much of a difference. But it's also going to be really good for DPS players and for Zarya's, I guess. Because like if you see a, if you see a diva pop or defense matrix for even a split second, you're instantly like, 
okay, she has two seconds. Like, you can look at the clock, you're like, two seconds? I can throw a grab, or I can do this, I can do that. So it's, it's amazing, man. I, I feel like, as far as the meta goes, this is right up my alley, and I really look forward to it. It's going to bring in so much more variety. So many more heroes are going to be viable. Like, it's going to be good, man. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of off-meta heroes that you see uh, roaming around and just having fun, man. It's going to be good, dude. It's going to be so good. Uh, that's what I look forward to as far as the patch notes go. But on top of that, there's also, like, the social features and social aspect of it, right? So... Another big reason why I stopped playing back then was the toxicity. And I'm sure you guys can relate. We've all had moments, right? We've all had games where it just some something stupid happens and it just eventually wears on a person, right? Uh, thing is with me that a lot of you guys can't understand or relate to is as a YouTuber and being one of the only console YouTubers, it's like people know who I am in game a lot. So there's always this pressure of having to perform the absolute best the entire time but that's not who i am like as a person right like i'm just playing the game you know what i mean so there was all this pressure to always be the best and i never really cared to perform that way if that makes sense like in the end it's just a video game right and if there was pop-up moments where i just went off then i would save it and i would upload it to youtube and that was awesome and it just got to a point where i was starting to critique myself way too much there was moments in game where people would be just shitheads to me and to one another. And it was just like, bro, come on, really? And like I said, it just wore me out. That's when I went to Call of Duty. And yeah, here we are. You guys know the rest. Um, there's been... Sorry, that was a big ramble just to get to this point. So whatever. Toxicity, it was annoying. Um, there's been talks about these new social features coming out. Apparently... Uh, there's no information, apparently it's in hush hush right now, nobody can really talk about it, but apparently there's some new social features coming out that are supposed to alleviate this problem, which would be awesome. And I mean, as a community as a whole, we have to fix it ourselves, we can't rely on Blizzard to put something in a game to, to fix the toxicity, right? Like, we can't do that, that's fucking silly. Just as, as decent human beings, we just need to come together and just agree to not be shitheads to one another, you know what I mean? So... I know that there's always going to be them people. It's video games. It's the internet. The anonymity of the internet. It's just always going to be there, right? So I came to realize this. And I'm using Call of Duty as an escape, right? So like if I'm tired of playing Call or Overwatch, then I'm just going to go I'm just going to go play Call of Duty, right? Like before, I never had anything else. So it would just be I would start getting tilted. I would hate the game. And then I would keep playing the game. And then I would hate it even more. And I would keep playing the game. And you guys know the rest. Like, it happens to everybody, right? But now there's there's other games that I can play. And I can, you know, take breaks from. And just blow off steam. Like, go just snipe some, some noobs in Call of Duty. Like, it feels good, right? So, now I have this escape. It's going to be a whole different story for me, you know? Whereas before, like I said, it was just... I had nothing else. I'd get tilted and keep playing. And you can't do that, right? You, like I said, you guys can relate to the whole toxic thing. The only thing that you guys might not be able to relate to is the pressure of always having to perform, which that sucks, man. It, I'm not going to lie. It was really hard some days, but it is what it is. Overwatch is a very team reliant game. This is leading into my next point, by the way. So the whole performing thing, it relies on your team, right? It's a team game. Everybody, it's it's like you're you're throwing the dice and you're hoping for really good teammates or you're hoping that the other team has good teammates and you're hoping that there's no throwers on either side, right? Like, you're the, you want to play a game. You don't want the enemy team to be throwing. Like, that's no fun. So you want it to be super intense all the way around. Before, I was spending most of my time solo queuing. So when you're throwing the dice on the table like that and you have shitty teammates and it's like, I'm getting rolled then that, that makes me feel bad, but it's like, I can't really do anything more. Like, I don't know what to say. And that sucked. So that's why this season, I'm going to spend a lot more time stacking and playing with friends. Because even if we lose, first of all, I don't care because we're having fun. That's the whole point. I'll be playing with the boys. We'll be stacking, having some fun. It's going to be amazing. Uh, when we win, it's going to be amazing too because when you're stacking chances are you're going to play against other stacks so it's basically going to be team versus team 
it's gonna be good, man. I, I, I never understood that mentality back in the day. Like, I mentioned this in the video that I said where I quit Overwatch five months ago. I, I mentioned this. I said, there's this mentality that if you play as a group and you stack in competitive, like, it's frowned upon. You, you, you as a person in the community are looked down on. This is in the higher ranks, by the way. I, I know a lot of you guys might be in a lower rank, so you might not understand fully. But in the higher ranks, like, when you're stacking, it's looked down on, man. It's like, yeah, you might have got to top 500, but you stacked. It's like, so what? What, what, what do you mean because you stacked? Like, I, I never understood that mentality. So, I'm just going to say, throw that all out the window. I'm done skis with all that shit. I'm here to have some fun. So those are the main reasons as to why I'm coming back to Overwatch. Numero uno, the patch, amazing. Uh, all the heroes that I don't like are kind of getting pushed to the side and the heroes that I love. It's affecting me, man. I, I, like I said, it might not affect you like that. You might not be into it that much, but it, it, it's perfect for me and I look forward to it. So there's that. Social features that are coming out that we don't know about but apparently are gonna be a step in the right direction for community and Whatnot like that's gonna be amazing and number three I have an escape I'm not worried about getting tilted and whatnot anymore because if I just start getting annoyed and I start losing games Then I'm gonna go play something else. It is what it is. So I'm super happy about it and I look forward to What's gonna happen for the rest of the the season really when the patch goes live that's when i'm gonna start playing comp i haven't played any comp yet i'm waiting for the patch to go live first and then i'm gonna play it's gonna feel like a fresh start for me so i really look forward to it i'm gonna play out the rest of this game i think i've i've rambled enough i'll play out whatever is left of this game uh thank you guys for watching uh yo if you quit overwatch and you deciding to come back comment down below i want to know i want to know why you're coming back or why you stop playing let me know i'm curious Thank you guys again. I will see you guys on the next video. Oh wow, I'm actually autistic. Oh. <laughs> you hit those. I uh, was not giving in at all. <laughs> Understandable. What? Makes Come perfect on. sense. Oh, she was dead. No, 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 she was dead for it. Pog champ, dude.